Okay, perfect. Very Thank handy you. for these days, right? Yeah. We love it. Yes, exactly. Quick last minute Christmas shopping. So just as a reminder, everybody needs to listen carefully. Um, Anna and Victoria are going to ask you a question just at the end. For being on the webinar, you get one prize draw entry. Um, if you answer the question correctly at the end and your fastest finger, you get 10 entries. And then tomorrow, I'll let you all know um, with a follow up and um, Anna and Victoria will send out your prizes. So without further ado, Anna, take us to the Caribbean for your fun in the sun properties. Um, if you can start your webinar, please. Absolutely. So let's see, share. There we go. Can you guys see all of it? Oh, good. Yeah. Perfect. So um, as I said, I, I work for a, a I represent Ocean by H10 Hotels. Um, H10 Hotels, we are a, a company based in Barcelona, Spain, and we have uh, 67 hotels worldwide. Um, Ocean Hotels is the Caribbean brand, and uh, we established uh, the company in the Caribbean in 2008, um, and we've been expanding uh, then since. Um, we offer all-inclusive and uh down this lovely family walking down the beach having fun in the sun uh, we have all of the brands that uh, are represented through all of the hotels so we have privilege with exclusive uh, rooms and services we have perfect day for weddings and all sorts of celebrations um, daisy is children uh, the little ones are our main priority in our family hotels Teen clubs as well. I mean, what to do with teens when they're on vacation. Mm -hmm. And then Blue Team. Blue Team is our entertainment um, uh, team that that will cheer you up through all the hotels. Um, then we have um, my uh, meetings and events, and we are available in all of the hotels uh, worldwide. Um, so... What's not to know about all inclusive? We include all drinks and food and snacks throughout the day. And uh, within uh, Ocean Hotels, we have brands that will also repeat through all of the hotels uh, as restaurants. So we have Route 66 with this American barbecue, Mike's Coffee Shop, a place to get from a panini to a frozen coffee or, or tea. Um, Blue Moon, we have a uh, adults only uh, restaurant for maybe those families that go clan style with a multi-generational trip and want to um, get their sidekick and, and have a romantic dinner. Uh, we offer unlimited a la carte dining and uh, unlimited Wi-Fi through all the destinations. Um, so in Dominican Republic, we have two hotels. Ocean El Faro, uh, a big complex with 910 suites. And this complex is divided in two sections. So the section you see to the left of the screen, the, of the screen would be um, the family section with our daisy uh, section for children and uh, couples and couples with little ones. Uh, and on the right side of this picture, you see the adult only. Um, section, um, secluded, preserved, private. Um, this section is called El Beso, the adult only. We'll also see it repeated through different hotels. Um, and they will share all the, the major and main amenities of the family hotel as well. We're going to see really quick some of the beautiful rooms that these hotel features with a royal master suite. We have junior suite rooftops with amazing views. Um, that's the, the ocean, how the ocean see the hotel actually. And it features a lazy river, lots of fun for the entire family. Uh, each family hotel at Ocean Hotels uh, has a bowling alley, a full size bowling alley, as you can see with, um, with uh, a bar and they offer as well snacks. So the whole family can go in a little competition. Our family hotels have also always have a um, restaurant that faces the beach. They're very popular during the day, but not so much at night. So I always recommend to go to one of those restaurants for dinner. Route 66, again, will repeat through all of the hotels is an American barbecue specialized restaurant. 
and they have different themes. Uh, in Punta Cana as well, we have Ocean Blue and Sand. This is the first hotel the company opened in the Caribbean. And it's gone through an enormous remodelation this year. Uh, the rooms look like this right now, very modern look, very similar to the rest of, of, of our hotels. This is a view from the ocean into the hotel, very green, very beautiful. Bowling alley in each one of the family hotels. This is one of our restaurants. Uh, each hotel has an Asian restaurant because it's very popular. The teppanyaki tables, people really love. And our chefs do a great, great job at putting uh, a wonderful show on every night. Steakhouse is also one of our very, very popular restaurants. Um, this is the specialized for carnivores. And... Uh, Sometimes we will we will uh, have reservations because they're so popular. We want all of our guests to be able to enjoy them. Um, in Mexico, we have three hotels, um, one in Puerto Morelos and two of them in Riviera Maya. We will start with uh, our adults only resort, Ocean Maya Royal in Riviera Maya. Uh, 320 suites, very private, very secluded. Uh, I recommend this hotel highly for couples only, not so much only for adults, uh, because the characteristics of a romantic scape that this hotel provides. Six restaurants and five bars, two big swimming pools. And this is how our rooms look like. Um, all restrooms in these rooms have been remodulated because they were a bit dated, but this is a hotel that is in pristine um, condition still, very well preserved, very comfortable, very cozy. Again, we have um, different restaurants. This is a Blue Moon for adults only, uh, romantic themed. This is a buffet. And some of the pools, we, when we have two pools, we always have one that's a bit more, have more activity and one that it's more on the quiet side. So Ocean Coral and Turquesa is a classic family hotel. It's placed in uh, Puerto Morelos, close to the village of Puerto Morelos, really lovely fisherman um, uh, town uh, with little restaurants and a beautiful um, um, artisan market. We have one of the biggest um, uh, coral reefs in the in the in this part of the world in front of this uh, hotel, and as you can see, it has this kind of like horseshoe shape. We have four of them, and we have almost a kilometer of beach in front of it. So very green, very beautiful. We have. Um, nine restaurants and 10 bars, uh, four swimming pools. And one of these uh, sections is as well an adult only section. So for multi-generational trips, for family uh, traveling together, this is a really, really great, amazing uh, spot. Um, those are some of the rooms that, uh, how they looked. Um, and this hotel is in a constant remodelation. In a bit of a minute, I'll show you what the new rooms would look like. Boom, here they are. This is the new Ocean Coral and Turquesa and the adult only section El Beso is completely remodeled for all of our guests looking this way. Um, we have different restaurants, Italian restaurants. And last hotel we have in, um, Riviera Maya is Ocean Riviera Paradise. This is really the hotel that has everything for everyone. It's, section, it's divided in four sections. So here we have a daisy section with a water park, with a rooms in front of the water park close to the teenager club, close to um, the, the daisy club. Then we also have an adults only section called El Beso, a full privilege section for with um, um, exclusive rooms and services. And an, another section called Eden, Eden by the beach is the closest uh, section uh, to the beach, as you can see here. 
Uh, this hotel features five pools. The fifth one is this one just in front of the water. And this, well, kind of uh, brown roofed building in front of the beach is uh, Pez Bella, one of our most popular restaurants in front of the beach, as well as the privilege area for our guests. We have master suite swim ups here. Uh, beautiful rooftops with amazing views. Uh, swim ups, very popular choice for our guests. Uh, junior suite rooftops with two different levels. And this is our beach. As you can see, you can walk all the way from our hotel to um, Playa del Carmen and south from the hotel. So taking that path toward the picture, you can find one of the most beautiful beaches in the area called Escala Coco. We have a bowling alley, as I said, in each family hotel. Pez Bella, restaurant in front of the beach is really lovely, really breezy, very nice. And Blue Moon for adults only. Uh, this, you, this restaurant is utilized to, um, to serve breakfast for the adults only as well as dinner. Steakhouse. And our last hotels and newest hotels are in Jamaica, where we have Ocean uh, Coral Spring and Ocean Eden Bay. Those hotels sit in the same piece, in the same property, one next to the other, but let's not confuse them. They are independent hotels. Ocean Coral Spring is dedicated to families, which is our staple as a company. Um, featuring 513 suites and six restaurants. We have a bowling alley. We have a very large swimming pool, as you can see. And we also have a lazy river that is shared by both properties. Um, we have Swim Up Junior Suites, Privileged Master Suites with amazing views. Those hotels have a lot of ocean views, just the way they've been designed and the way they presented in front of the ocean. Rooftop suites, look at the view of the beach. It's absolutely gorgeous colors. And this is Ocean Eden Bay next to it. Um, as you can see, the structure of the buildings is very similar. Um, between those two buildings, it's where the Lazy River sits. Um, and Ocean Eden Bay is for adults only. What these hotels share is the avenue. The avenue is where all of the restaurants are, um, most of the amenities are. And so the avenue is divided between family and then adults only. Um, the adults only resort have six restaurants on its own, plus the rest of the restaurants that they can access, which is uh, on the family side as well. Um, we have a theater and dining show uh, that we feature here as well as the Lazy River where um, those guests can access as well. Again, beautiful rooms at Ocean Eden Bay. Um, I want you to know that those are different separate independent hotels and I want you to have these in consideration when you start uh, building groups. So we cannot have guests here and there and mush them all together, whether they are an adult only group or they are a family group. Um, and that's how, how we combine these. Just wanted to give you a heads up on this important. Beautiful lazy river, like fully themed lazy rivers, just not a pool with a motor. Um, this is a blast for all of our guests, including myself, where I can. And a bowling alley, very modern, beautiful, real size bowling alleys, invite for competition and a fun, uh, fun night always. Um, in the last year, we have been incorporating more and more Indian cuisine in our resorts. Thali is excellent. Sugar cane, uh, traditional West Indies um, cuisine. Sakura, we have uh, big teppanyaki tables and Asian restaurant in each one of our hotels. 
and Locanda, one of my favorites, um, uh, Italian, really great Italian food here. And Daisy Club, I really feel like when we go places with kids, they need to be a priority because if the kids are happy and entertained, the adults can actually have fun. So we host them from four to 12 years old um, and then they go to the, the, the teenager club once they're older. Um, there's a, a range there of time where parents kind of decide if they need the kids to be more um, within security premises or they can browse the hotel um, as their leisure. This is a bit on, on the parents' side. Just giving you an idea how the little ones are taken care and what they do in our hotels. And that's how we like to see them better, just having fun. Um, this is the daisy section at Ocean Coral Spring. Different daisy sections at Coral Spring, I'm sorry, at Coral Turquesa. And as I've been mentioning, we have El Beso sections at uh, Riviera Paradise, Ocean Turquesa and El Beso. Those are the adult only sections of the different hotels. So count on us for those multi-generational groups. And uh, a quick overview over privilege. Um, privilege is for those guests that want to enhance their experience and they have a customized course concierge service, um, privileged lounge and private beach area, spacious rooms, premium drinks, and priority to, to book a la carte restaurants. Just giving you a view. And perfect day. I think I, I might have exhausted my time. So all I need you to know is that we do wonderful wedding managers. We do have them um, looking for Oh, can I, oh, I get the thumbs up. I get the thumbs up. So <laughs> I just wanted to know that we have wonderful wedding managers that are passionate about helping your guests prepare their perfect day um, at all of the locations. So I just wanted to see some of the um, build-ups and things that they can put together for your guests. And um, it's you that know your guests and you that knows your, your you know your guest budget and all the characteristics of the couple to recommend them to to the best possible property this is jamaica amazing blue colors and um just mentioning we have a reward program obviously we are on it doing a webinar so we great partners and we are really really happy to finally be able to 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 offer these for for all of our u.s um uh, travel agents all you gotta do is go to oceanbyh10rewards.com and register all of your bookings and start earning so this is some of what you already know we have uh, four different business development managers in the in the united states um so uh, if you need any help with our European properties, Oscar Pies is your man, where we have different brand hotels as well. So just let us know he we're here to help. Thank you so much. Super amazing. Thank you very much, Anna. If anybody has got any more questions for Anna, please pop them into the Q&A with a little note saying Anna, and uh, we will get round to those just at the very end. Um, Anna, that um, hotel in Jamaica, the beach. Wow. Yeah, they're amazing. Oh, it looked beautiful. So, oh, yeah. Can you want me to answer the questions later, eh? Or yeah, you want we'll me to do, answer them there? No, we'll do them later because I think more people Perfect. may pop some questions in for you. So, yeah, thank you very much, Anna. Great presentation. And uh, we're now going to hand over to Victoria. Okay. Hey, um, so, I'm going to share my screen. That's okay. Yeah. And hopefully everybody can see my screen now. 
Fabulous. Uh, okay, so hi everybody. Um, I'm going to take you through very quickly the properties that we represent. Um, so I'm going to start off in Barbados. I'm going to take you down to the south coast to Divi Southwinds. So um, Divi is situated right in the heart of St. St. Lawrence Gap. I'm going to move that little image down there so that you guys can see all of the pictures. So yeah, I mean, some of these pictures are there, the pictures that the hotel have taken. And this is a picture that I took when I was down there. So the beach is amazing. Also, just so that you guys know, um, Divi is spread across six acres. So it's a huge space down in St. Lawrence Gap. It's got 116 rooms in total, and they're made up of one and two bedroom garden and pool view suites. Um, it's a fabulous property for families. It has a playground, it has three swimming pools, it has mini golf, um, it has tennis, uh, sorry, yeah, tennis courts as well. You can book it through Travel Pack and you can book it through um, Gold Medal. Gold Medal's coming online shortly. These are images I took when I took the last fam trip down. So you can just see the effort that they go to on the beach. Um, it's a really lovely atmosphere and it's a great place to sit um, and swim because even though it's on the South Coast, they've kind of built out a little bit into the ocean so it, it protects it a little bit so it's a little bit calmer than um, some of the other south coast beaches and this just shows you so this would be this would be a one bedroom suite so this would be your kind of living dining area you'd have a master bedroom and then you've got a pull out sofa and then you have another bedroom as well I'm sorry another suite which is a two bedroom which has a twin room and it has a, um, a master king bedroom as well as the lounge um, which has the pull out sofa so that can accommodate up up to six people so it's a great property and um, particularly if you are um, have clients that just want to get into the Caribbean into Barbados uh, and they might be more budget focused so now we're going to go over to Jamaica to S Hotel which is a fabulous hotel it's um, situated in Montego Bay and it's a member of small luxury hotels of the world so we call it a boutique all-inclusive and the reason we call it a boutique is some of the hotels well most of the hotels in the Montego Bay area have hundreds of rooms um, where we only have 120. So in relation to the other properties, we are very much boutique, all inclusive and adults only. So that's from age 16 upwards. Um, and we are, really have a fabulous kind of South Beach Miami vibe, but also um, very much kind of authentic Jamaican rootsy vibe going on as well. So throughout the property, you will see lots of kind of Jamaican memorabilia. So if your clients want to know that they're in Jamaica and it resonates that then they're in Jamaica, then this really is the place for them to come. We're literally just three minutes from the airport. Um, so you don't have to worry about big transfer times. And we are situated on Doctors Cave Beach, which is one of the best beaches in the Montego Bay area. Um, if anybody else wants to come onto Dr. Cave Beach, they actually have to come through the Dr. Cave Center and pay to get onto the beach and then pay to hire sun lounges. We have direct beach access from the hotel and we have our own area of the beach, which is reserved over here. You can see, um, and we have waiter service on the beach because we are all inclusive. So that is included as well. And we have sun lounges. So you are very well looked after whether you're on the beach or by the pool. These you can see over to the left hand side. This is our main pool down here and the music theme runs through the property as well. So we have a live DJ around the pool and it's kind of soca uh, music and reggae music. But whatever is in the charts here, you'll hear the soca and reggae versions, which are fabulous. Um, and then this is our sky deck pool. So this is up on the fourth floor and it has glass all the way around it. It's a fabulous place to come and sit uh, while away a few hours and also enjoy the sunset. So we've actually built a champagne bar up here and we invite guests twice a week to come and have a glass of champagne and watch that amazing sunset. The rooms are beautiful, large, big suites. We have won awards for the bathrooms. You can see the pool again here from these beautiful views of the Caribbean Sea, the beach and the pool. Just one thing to note, we have a lead in room, which is called a mini king. Now, the mini king is our smallest room, so it's not as large as the rooms that you're seeing here and it doesn't have the ocean view. So if you've got somebody that just really falls in love with this hotel and wants to be in this location directly on the hip strip where they can walk out to lots of different bars and restaurants and shops, but they're happy that it's a smaller room and they won't spend very much time in it, then that's perfect. But just do make sure that your clients are aware of that if they book the mini king room. Now, in terms of F and B, we have five restaurants on property. Um, you can see with the piano, this is our fine dining restaurant. We have a live um, either pianist or saxophonist every evening. So live music there. 
Um, my favorite is the restaurant over here, which serves food on hot plates. So the fish is amazing. Um, we also have Roots Rock restaurant um, and we also have a 24 hour cafe. And this is the, this area is around the pool. So this is not one of the five restaurants, but you can always get food here. So if you're hungry throughout the day, you can come and get something to eat. And then we've also just opened our own nightclub. So it's not in the hotel, but it's on the property. Um, it's open for guests. So you're all inclusive. You don't have to worry about taking any money into the nightclub. Um, we only invite people to come in from outside occasionally and they would be um, guest list. So we know exactly who's coming in. So essentially it is a closed space for our guests. Um, and if you've got clients that are humming and hiring, maybe they're sitting a little bit on the fence. Should I go to S Hotel? Um, some good reasons for you to have in your toolkit is that S Hotel was voted in 2022 the number one hotel in Montego Bay by Condé Nast Traveller Reader's Choice. And this year we were actually voted the number one hotel in the Caribbean and Central America in Condé Nast Traveller Reader's Choice. So some really good rewards that the hotel has won for its service um, and it just is such a fabulous property. So I can't recommend it enough if your clients are looking for Jamaica. So um, they also have a property in Kingston, which is the sister property. So this is a city hotel, so it has a bit, bit of a different vibe. But if you wanted to twin Kingston with Jamaica, um, the road, it takes about two hours if you get the timing right with the traffic. And it's a really lovely transfer. Um, this hotel is great location right in the heart of Kingston. You can go out to the Bob Marley Museum, Devon House. Um, there's lots of local tours that you can do. There's also the Blue Mountains, which you're um, just at the base of. So you can go and do the Blue Mountain Coffee Tour as well. So I'm going to take you over to Golden Rock in Nevis, um, Golden Rock Inn. It's um, just under an hour from the St. Kitts um, International Airport to Golden Rock, and that includes a lovely six minute ride on the boat. Golden Rock is a thousand feet above sea level. Um, it's a beautiful small boutique property, just 11 rooms. Um, so, so there are some of the bedrooms and um, we have a fabulous outdoor dining area as well called the rocks and the rocks is really really renowned for a small hotel that only has 11 guest rooms we do about 60 to 70 covers an evening and you can see i just put this picture in so you can see the difference of the setting in the evening so this is a really beautiful property it's quite boho chic it's owned by two New York artists, Helen and her late husband, Bryce Marden. Um, they don't use their own artwork here, they use local artwork. And the price point is really kept low because they don't want to exclude artists or the local community as well. So it's a really lovely find, it's a really great gem. Now, I am gonna show you a quick video actually for um, Turks and Caicos, which I flew back from this morning. Um, so I'm a little bit jet lagged, but I really wanted to show you this destination because it's a really super destination. And we now have two direct flights a week on road. Someone asked me, you know, where are you from? I said, I'm from Turks and Caicos. Oh, where is that? So I had to explain that we are southeast of the Bahamas. It's an hour and 20 minutes from Miami. But, oh, okay, we need to get down there. When you arrive in Turks and Caicos, you're in a place where you can relax. So that was a short video. I have got a five minute version, which I can send out to you in the follow up, a link to it. But I wanted to just take you outside of Provo for a second. Now Provo is where the international flights come in and that's where a lot of the, the restaurants and the hotels that you would know are. But if you take a flight from Provo to Grand Turk, it's just under half an hour. And Grand Turk is a really beautiful island with lots of kind of boutique inns and condos and villas all along West Street, which is right on the beach. Uh, it's a really interesting plane ride. And when you get there, there's some really lovely um, excursions that you can do. It's great diving. It's got, it's got the world's third largest reef, um, which is here. So it's great for diving. And from kind of January to April, they have humpback whales migrate as well. So you can do snorkeling, diving and whale watching from this island. So it's really different. It's also where the cruise ships come into. So they have a whole port which you can go to as well, which has duty free shopping, restaurants, bars. Um, so it's a really lovely little spot. And then if you were back on Provo and you took a ferry, you can go over to North Caicos and also you drive along a causeway to Middle Caicos and it's just the most exquisite islands of bo both of them um, if you can get there at the right time of day or in the evening you can see the pink flamingos um, there are lovely little hidden gems like these caves that you can walk down to um, this is by an area um, 
called Dragon's Creek and it's a beautiful beach and you can actually sit and have a picnic there. You can take e-bikes out and ride around the island. Again, it's great for snorkeling. Um, they also have a farm here as well. So you can go and pick um, fruit and maybe do a tour of the farm. So there's a lot of things that are coming on North Caicos and Middle Caicos. But again, it's a, they've got a brand new boutique hotel that's just opened. So it's a really great place to maybe do a bit of a twin center. So Turks and Caicos is more than just one island, but I wanted to come back to Provincialis, which is where our hotels are. So this is an aerial view of Provo as you come in. You can see the, the beaches. I mean, the sand here is so white. I always think that Turks and Caicos is like combining Barbados and the Maldives because the fine dining restaurants and the kind of gourmet street van restaurants and street food that you can get and the hotels, it's like the west coast of Barbados, but the beaches are the kind of beaches that you would see in the Maldives. So in Grace Bay, which is the kind of main area downtown where you've got um, loads of lovely bars, restaurants, shopping areas, is a restaurant called, is a, sorry, a hotel called The Sands, which is a four star property. It's directly on Grace Bay Beach, which was voted the best beach in the world eight years running by Condé Nast Traveller. And this is a four star property. So this is a great lead in property. We have um, traditional kind of classic hotel rooms right the way up to residences. So all of the rates here are room only but we have Hemingway's, which is a renowned local restaurant on property. So you can get breakfast, lunch and dinner here if you want to, but you can, you really are missing a trick if you don't go out and explore some of the other restaurants. So a further along Grace Bay Beach, we have the Palms, which is our five-star property. Now, when they originally designed the Palms, they went over to Barbados and looked at Sandy Lane and the architect came back and just created this beautiful property. Far more classic in its design. Um, it has a fabulous fine dining restaurant called Parallel 23, the Latitude Bar, which is a great hangout spot, the courtyard garden where you have breakfast. The rooms are more classic. And again, we have a classic hotel room right the way up to our penthouses with just stunning views of, again, that Grace Bay Beach, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, they have an award winning 25,000 feet spa as well. So it's a great place. People come, you know, and stay here for the spa. But that beach to me is just it's the most incredible beach. It's really lovely to swim in. The visibility is crystal clear as well. Now, if we come out of Grace Bay and we go kind of around the corner, about 10 minutes drive, we get to the Shore Club, which is a phenomenal property, more modern in its design, more kind of like European. This is the lobby area. We have three swimming pools here. This is the main pool with cabanas around the pool and a fire pit in the middle. So this pool is actually open 24 hours a day. We have two fabulous restaurants, Almond Tree, which is the, has the almond trees in the courtyard, which in the evening are lit up by fairy lights and it looks very different than it does in the daytime. And then we have our um, fine dining restaurant, which is a kind of mix of Japanese and Peruvian, which is called Surin and has the most incredible sushi. And then the Rope Bar, which is by the swimming pool, which is a great place to have drinks in the evening. So again, we have a kind of classic hotel room. Uh, which is called the Junior Suite, right the way up to these incredible penthouses, which are over 6,000 square feet for a three bedroom penthouse. And then we have six bedroom villas on property as well, which are absolutely stunning. So these villas are six bedrooms, but you can rent them as a five or a four bed as well. Now, if you come out of the back of the villa, you come down to the beach, you have your own private pathway to the beach. You have your own non-motorized water sports here as well. Uh, and you have your own butler. So your butler will look after you and make sure that you have everything that you need. Um, and that you're very well taken care of. And this is perfect, I think, for families with really small children because this is so shallow right the way out for about three, 400 feet. So you can just play here. You can do non-motorized water sports, build sand castles, paddle, run around. It's really calm, crystal clear water. So we're gonna go quickly over to Dominica to Fort Young Hotel and Dive Resort. Now, Dominica, we call it the Costa Rica of the Caribbean because it is amazing, immersive, um, soft adventure. You can do extreme adventure if you like. Um, there, there's a fabulous hike um, called the Boiling Lake Hike, which is a seven hour hike to the world's second largest boiling lake. Um, these are just some of the images that I took on my phone when I was there recently. So the hotel itself, Fort Young, it was originally built in 1699 as a fort to protect the island. Uh, it's been a hotel for about 60 years. It has a prime location right on the edge of the Caribbean Sea in the center of the capital, Rousseau. So you can walk out easily to the bars and the restaurants, um, the French Quarter, the markets, and also you can get to all of these fabulous activities that you would want to do in Dominica within kind of five to 20 minutes. So I just wanted to give you some updates. So 
We've recently just relaunched after an 18 million US dollar refurbishment. So this is now the, the lobby area as you come in. This, these are the original walls that, of the fort that was built in 1699. You come in through here to this lovely reception area. And then um, it opens up on the other side of the reception. You have this beautiful lounge bar area. And then in the center, we have a courtyard. And in the courtyard, there is a lovely cafe with a barista. So because it's very, very Dominican and it's locally owned and run, we have a lot of Dominicans that come as well. So if you wanted to come in, you can sit here, people watch. And it's it's a really great space to kind of engage with the local environment. And when you go out and do your tours, it's a lovely space to come back to. So this is the hotel as it as it stands now. So we have a restaurant here, along here, and then underneath there's a second restaurant and a bar. These are the older rooms, but they're actually higher room categories than the newer rooms. Um, so we have um, 20 seafront rooms, which are these rooms here, which are slightly set back. And then we have 20 oceanfront rooms, which are these are our premium rooms. And then this is the newest block, which has um, 32 ocean view rooms, all with glass floating balconies. And then on the other side, we have 28 four, uh, mountain view rooms, which look over these incredible mountains. And here you can see you can come down to the jetty. You can swim here. It's beautiful, crystal clear water. And we offer unlimited shore diving from our dive shop right out here. So we're the only property that actually has a dive shop as well. And this little video, I mean, I took these from my phone, so I'm waiting for the official videos and um, photos to come in. But this just shows you how they've married the older building and the new refurbished building and how it kind of connects together. So I'm sorry about the background noise, but as I said, I took these on my phone. And this is the main swimming pool area, but we are talking about putting a floating pool here as well that would be out on the ocean. And we've just taken possession of two brand new dive boats, which if you're not a diver, you can go out and do whale watching on these boats or a sunset cruise. So it is a fabulous whale watching as well. We have um, resident sperm whales in Dominica. And then these are the new rooms, um, the, the new ocean view rooms in the Fort Block. So quickly going over to Bay Gardens in St. Lucia, I'm sure you know the properties already. We've got three three-star properties, the four-star Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa, our Water's Edge Villas and Splash Island Water Park. So all located up in the north of the island. So about a 90 minute transfer from Huanora International Airport, which I quite like because you drive through the country and you see, you can put the window down and have the breeze and see all the banana plantations and so forth. And you drive through Castries, but there is now a transfer on the boat as well if you don't want to do that. But I wanted to give you this update today. That's kind of the reason that I've put the properties in the um, presentation. We are changing the rooms at the uh, Bay Gardens Hotel, which is a three star property right in the heart of Rodney Bay. But if you look at the, the images either side, this is how our rooms will look. And hopefully in the, in the next few days, we'll actually have one room fitted out. And in the new year, we'll do a full Bay Gardens webinar with lots of updates and we'll be able to actually take you in and show you the new room and give you more information. But of course, that's a fabulous three-star price point with beautiful new rooms coming. And you will have a complimentary shuttle down to the beach resort and access to the Bay Gardens Beach Club. So you'll be able to use um, Splash Island Water Park, all the non-motorized water sports and the sun lounges at the beach resort. And that's complimentary. And then just to kind of remind you of the beach resort right down there on the world famous Redwee Beach, 72 rooms and suites at the moment. We do have some, some new developments starting shortly. And when we do the webinar in the beginning of 2024, we'll be able to tell you all about that as well. But it is still such a great product for the family market. Um, the other thing I just wanted to let you know, if you are not already following us on Instagram, we do post lots of updates on our Instagram page. Um, we also post um, trainings that we're doing. We post fam trips that we, we're doing. We've got fam trips coming up now that we're setting up for 2024. The first fam trip is over to Golden Rock in Nevis in April. And um, we do pull a winner every month to win a 25 pound Amazon voucher. Um, and that's just a note on our fam trip. So if you'd like to join any of the fam trips, we do have to ask um, if you can pay for your flights over to the destination. But once you're there, we do look after you. Um, and we try to show you more of the destination experience that your clients would have rather than just um, lots and lots of hotels. And that's it. Um, hopefully I wasn't too long. Um, and uh, thank you for the extra five minutes. So I'm gonna stop sharing and hand you back to Sarah. Thank you very much, Victoria. No, you was fine. We have a little bit of um, breathing space today. So all is good. So hopefully you've all learned a lot. 
do we have any questions for Victoria? Um, let's have a look. Oh, so Anna, you've been answering your questions. I just clicked enter. Okay, perfect. No problem. Um, okay, Victoria, Charles has asked, is Divi an all-inclusive resort? No, it's not. Um, they haven't done all inclusive really just because of the location. You can walk out to St. Lawrence Gap and all of the rooms are sweet. So they all have a full kitchen in them. The restaurant down there is lovely. Uh, um, it's a really fabulous restaurant right on the beach and the, I can vouch for the food. Um, but at the moment, we're not doing all inclusive. Okay, super. No problem at all. Um, do you have any other questions? Um, Anna, when is the Ocean Hotel scheduled to be open in Playa Mujeres? Um, 2025. 2025. Victoria, can you post your email address in the chat? Yes. I will also email everybody um, with details of how you can find fact sheets, images, content on all of our properties. It's all on our website. So once I get everyone's details from Sarah, I will put that, I will send out that out to everybody as well. Okay, super. Um, Victoria, one last one. I'm seeing them in I'm just going through a chat and there's a few questions. S Hotel, where can we book this from, please? Which suppliers? Okay, so if you're from the UK, you can book us through Carib Tours. Um, you can book us with Gold Medal. Um, we are signing contracts at the moment with If Only. Um, I'm sure most tour operators wouldn't say no to a booking. So um, if there's anyone that you particularly want to book through, drop me an email and I will talk to them and see if we can get um, a contract signed. Super. Thank you very much. Anna, do yeah. you have interconnecting rooms at H10 hotels? We do. We do. They're on request. <laughs> So just let us know that you need them and we'll facilitate them. Super amazing. Thank you very much. I think, um, oh, Victoria, can you write your Instagram handle again, please? Megan is asking. Yeah. Um... I think that's what it is. I'm not very good with social media. I'm, I'm in the process of learning. Yeah. <laughs> you do some good stuff on social media i'm getting better but i do a reel and then i realize that i've it's one bit isn't long enough and you can't read what i've written or i've written it over somebody's face or or i do a live and i don't know how to switch it off so, it's a work in progress it's a real work in progress yeah more work and seen, less progress unfortunately yeah. i think i've seen you do one where you where you're going you're talking to your son on the beach and you're going are we live and he's going yeah you're live and you're going are we live <laughs> yeah yeah if you, if you want something done on social media now ask a 13 year old to do it for you i think that is the, the general rule yeah i agree <laughs> it's crazy okay so we're going to go to the time of the day where we quiz you all so as a reminder everybody gets a prize draw point for being on the webinar anna and victoria have each got a question for you that they have both covered during the presentation the fastest finger with the correct answer will get 10 points and i will let you know tomorrow who the winners are. So everyone go to chat, make sure your drop down says everyone. Anna, I'll let you go first. Have you got an easy or hard question? <laughs> I think it's going to be hard. Okay. Um, so what's the name of our adult only restaurants that we have throughout all properties? Maybe it's a bit too hard. The mixed bag. So, any are any of these correct so far? Yeah, actually, no? yeah. Okay. The answer so, is Blue Moon. Thank you for wow. listening. That is, so, I feel so good right now. <laughs> we have Rebecca. That was the first person. Um, Neil, Bowling Alley and Family Resorts. You wasn't even listening to the question. <laughs> it was going too fast. <laughs> but yeah, Rebecca, you have your 10 points. So thank you. And thank you for all the correct answers there. Um, Victoria. Okay, I've got the question I really want to ask. I rushed so quickly. So if nobody gets it, I've got a backup question. 
Um, okay. So my first question is, um, I mentioned that for Turks and Caicos, we have two new flights coming with which airline? Oh, no, they've actually started, sorry. Okay, so somebody's got it. Holly, I think, oh no, um, who was the first one to say Virgin? Uh, first person was Julia. Yeah, perfect. So it is, it's Virgin Atlantic have two new flights. We do have two flights with BA which go via Nassau, um, but the direct flight straight to Turks and Caicos is with Virgin. Super amazing. Um, ladies, thank you for your super presentations. Um, it is all recorded. I will be sending the copy out to all of the people that are on the webinar today and all of those that registered that were able to get on. We've had a lot of you today, so a big thank you. Um, it is the holidays. We've got one more working day left and then we all get a few days off, hopefully. So hopefully it's amazing. You enjoy your times with your families. Um, thank you for your support this year. We will not be back until the 4th of January next year. So we're going to give you a little bit of breathing space. Um, but don't forget, you can always log on to mybookingrewards.com forward slash webinars and view any of the past webinars that are all there. Um, if you've got a few moments spare over the holidays and yeah, you want to get a little bit of inspiration. Um, Victoria and Anna, thank you. Um, they're completely trade friendly hotels and brands. They want to work with you. So any questions you have got, please let them know. Ladies, do you have anything else to add? Happy Christmas. Oh, that's <laughs> absolutely happy holiday enjoy these quiet days yeah excellent well thank you very much thank you for your support this year looking forward to a great peaks 2024 we will see you all next year merry christmas everybody okay take care everybody bye bye, bye. bye. thank you